Welcome to the Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Josh Carney. With the release late last week of veteran center Mason Cole, the Pittsburgh Steelers now have just one true center on the roster, that being practice squad center Ryan McCollum, who was signed to a reserve futures deal in January. The decision to cut bait with Cole was one that surprised me, considering the timing, something that I laid out in an article for Steelers Depot earlier in the week. There was no real rush to cut Cole. Sure, he had a $1.5 million roster bonus coming, but that wasn't something that was going to make or break his standing with the franchise. The Steelers should have held on to him, at least until they signed a free agent to plug the hole in the roster. Instead, they moved on and decided that they'll figure it out later. That puts them in a tough spot. But that's why GM Omar Khan and assistant GM Andy White will make the big bucks. I'm sure they have a plan of attack at the position, one that has been a weakness for the Steelers since Marquise Pouncey retired, unsurprisingly. Whatever that plan is will reveal itself in the coming weeks and months ahead. But can we please stop with the speculation that James Daniels could be the answer at center, or even Nate Herbig? Let's be realistic here. James Daniels hasn't played a single snap at center in the NFL since the 2019 season. He's a guard, period. Yes, he can handle center in a pinch, but sliding him to center creates more issues than necessary for the Steelers' offensive line. Herbig, on the other hand, well, he had just nine snaps in the preseason last year for the Steelers at center. And he played just 156 total snaps during the regular season in 2023, all at guard. Again, like Daniels, Herbig can play center in a pinch but he has less than 50 career snaps at the center position in the regular season at the NFL level. He shouldn't really be viewed as an answer or a true option there either. Whatever the plan is for the Steelers at center, stop including those two in projections. It simply doesn't make any sense. Hopefully, Kahn and Weidel's plans include signing a veteran in free agency and drafting one early on in the 2024 NFL draft. Throw as much as you can from a player acquisition standpoint at the position. It's a good time to do it. Just stop mentioning Daniels and Herbig as options. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with Alice Kazora and Dave Bryan every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.